Can anybody tell me what this bullshit sticky paper is for? That takes way too long to uh, peel off. Don't even tell me it's to protect the brand new sump that you order because crack, crack, crack. Cracked. All right, now that I got all the bullshit sticky packaging paper off of it that does nothing, that's a lovely crack. Man, I didn't put the tops on it. I don't know. I don't know if I'm gonna use this thing. I already contacted Bulk Reef Supply where I got it, and they they said they'll either give me. Um, a credit or ship another one out. I'm going to have them ship another one out. Probably going to recycle this thing. I, I'm not going to risk, you know. So there's just too many cracks. It looks like a factory default, a factory fault. These are the lids. These are the socks I'll never use. Um, this goes in here for the double sock, which I won't use. And then you. it comes with the bulkheads. This is going to got to take more bullshit plastic off this is going to screw on here more bullshit paper that has to come off i mean um it's going to come with the two bulkheads that screw on so one thing i don't understand is that it comes with two the overflows from your tank you could have if you have a tank which is one overflow you just use one but two overflows but yet like one return pump area how is that gonna help things out why not two so a lot of people this is ridiculous to put a bulkhead in there i would just put the hose or the tubing through there for the return pump that goes back to your tank now you could fit two return pumps in here which was kind of my plan oh look there's two broken screws that are used to mount here or oh yeah they're from here look there's a broken screw and there's a broken screw outstanding outstanding yeah this wasn't from dropping it um i have footage of the ups guy from the doorbell and he didn't drop it at all so either this was handled terribly or it's a uh, faulty one from the factory so anyway the water comes in here drops down into here it'll flow up through here over the trap which is where this goes nice size bay for mechanical filtration you're going to load this up with uh, foam filter floss whatever it's going to flow down into here through here once it goes through there, it's going to go into this nice, large protein skimmer section. And then after the protein skimmer, you can adjust the height here. It's got some baffles. You can adjust the height for the water height. Then it's going to flow into here. This is uh, a yeah, decent sized refugium section, larger than I thought. So that's pretty good. Um, don't know if I'll use it as a refugium. Time will tell. I guess you could put a second return pump in there, but I'd use it as a refugium section or put like some carbon or GFO bags in there. And then here's your return pump section comes out. So really a nice design. Um, some people said that they got cut on this and I'm thinking, eh, how could you get cut on a sump? Well, just by touching this, it, it is pretty sharp. It's, it's, it's pretty pointed, so you do want to be careful. Like, zero, zero filing. Like, they just literally machined this, and it'll poke you. The edges are rounded. That's nice. You've got your dosing area. You can have your dosing tubes or whatever. I don't use dosing anything. You've got another one here. Um, you could also, this is where you're going to screw in, where you can hang your... Um, Heater. I'm not going to do that. I keep my heater in my overflows. 
There's some other coolness here for things I will never use, you know, but it, it's full of features if you choose to use them. So basically the water comes in here, flows down, flows up, goes over your socks or your mechanical filtration, flows below into your protein skimmer. This is a good size. It'll handle any size protein skimmer for the most part. Flows here through the first chamber, refugium or whatever you want to use it for into the last one, which is a uh, return pump. Now, again, who's to say you can't put a return pump in here and in here? That, that'd that be a good idea. But most of the water is going to be pumped out of here before it gets into here, probably. So you could easily, depending on the pumps, I could put both of my pumps in here. And they're, they're powerful pumps. And they're like, eh, what are they, three inches by four inches? They could easily fit in here because I think this chamber section is nine inches by eight inches or something like that. It's it's plenty big for two pumps, so you'd be fine. And of course, we have two more cracks. Outstanding. Oh, man, I swear. Technically, I guess you could use this. It's cracked inside. I don't feel the crack, which I don't like. You can hear that when you press on it. Um, but this one, I can't feel any crack. It's cracked strictly inside. So, man, I don't know. Whatever. Anyway, that's it for now. Thanks for watching. I wanted to show you the unboxing. Unfortunately, I won't be setting this up. But, um, you know, probably just recycle it. You're always taking a big chance when you uh, do uh, the sumps in the mail. This is the second one I ordered and the second one that got cracked. I had the chisel. I didn't want to do it because it's a brace, but it should be fine. It's only like four millimeters. I had to chisel away to get the sump in. And I can't believe it's in, but it looks nice. Just, here we go. Get the filter floss in there. I would like to leave the protein skimmer all the way at the bottom, but I... So it sucks up from the bottom, but I got the stand. We're going to leave it like this. Um, maybe I'll move it to the left more because there's like all this space. I had to join the uh, return tubing. I got another one, thank God, from eShops. I don't like how it's so long and it comes up, but um, the return hose that goes up back to the tank is way too short, so I cannot move it to the left. Um, I'd like to move it to the left by like a foot. I think I'm gonna get some flexible tubing instead of that hard black tubing because it's not flexible at all. It's literally straight down. I gotta get more of this. Putting the water in. So far, it's only coming from the right side. I'm sure the left will uh, 